Good evening and welcome to Planners Place YouTube channel. Today's video is on um, Primavera P6 and um, it's a question I answered on Reddit and I thought I should just create a video and share it just in case there's somebody out there who needs the same information. So this guy is um, looking for ways, a way of um, reporting or producing a report that shows the details of baselines for different projects. So he's got multiple pro say, multiple projects in a portfolio and he wants to be able to like run a report that will show okay which baseline is being used for each project and which you know. so he was struggling with it and posted the the question on Reddit and um, I did answer his questions and which shows you can produce a report that shows um, the different details for a baseline for each project. So basically what he's after, he's got, this is a, these are sample projects that come with on um, the default P6 installation. So you, assuming you've got this amount of, of projects and you want to get the baseline details for each one and put it in the report. So normally what you do is to find the baseline details like you have to go to project open up open a project go to project maintain baseline you see this this project has got two baselines version one and version two then to find out which one is assigned you close it you go to so here you get some details about the baseline, the name, the type, the data date, the last update date. And if you go to project assign baselines, you see the project baseline is version two. There's no primary, primary you just select current um, project as primary baseline. Secondary none, tertiary baseline none. So but he, instead of opening each project, and getting this information, he just wants a report where he can just straight out of the box. He couldn't find it, but luckily, P6 and comes with um allows you to to do that. So if we go to reports, you can either click on the reports icon from the side here, or tools reports. So um can choose, let's say, it's not a cost and schedule. So let's go for this, say open project reports. Just a um, group under project and WBS details. So I'm going to add a new, a new report. Click on add on the right hand side. And this opens the report wizard. I say next. Now the subject area I'm looking for is project baseline. You have to scroll down. Project baselines. This is what I'm after. Click next. Yep, project baselines. Next, now the columns to add. So if I click columns, that's the fields you want to check. Yeah, I want the baseline name, project ID, data date, baseline type. So we can do project ID, move the top, baseline name, data type, data date, um, I move baseline type, data date. So we want then you can do last update date. Want to find out when the baseline was last updated. So we want um, project baseline, primary baseline, secondary baseline, and tertiary baseline. So this, so you get the project ID and all these details about the project. Okay. Group and sort. Yeah, group by so it groups them by project. That's fine. 
um, show totals. I don't want any totals. Say none. You can define sort and all that, but I just leave this at the default. So now let's click OK. Filter. I don't have any filter set up. You can set up any filter you want. Click next. Yeah. So I'll save this as um. Let's give a name. PB project baselines next now you need to run a report click on run the report button you've got different options you can do print preview print direct to printer email it but i'll go with um html format this will open it this in a browser if i click on Okay. Now, let me increase the size of this so that you can see. As you can see, it's generated the report. With all the details are asked. It. It's a long, long list. So you've got a simple report. You've got the project name. You've got. Um, this is the project ID, then you've got the baseline name. This one doesn't have a type of baseline defined. This is the data date when it was last updated. Is this baseline, the project baseline is telling you yes. So if we go to like um, the project I opened earlier, this, um, if I, oh no, yeah, which was the 3D prototype project, which had two baselines. You can see version one, Version one is not the project baseline, version two is, and it tells you here. And um, version one is not being used for anything, you know. So this is just a simple report. It gives you can print it. There's the beauty of this. If you if I go to print, I'll see I want to save this as PDF. If you go landscape. I think landscape looks better. Yep, I saved the PDF. I'll save it somewhere on my. Let me try open it. Yeah, as you can see, it's just a simple report. Okay, so if you're happy with the printed report, the PDF version of the report, you just go back to P6, um, click on next, and it gives you the option to save the report. I would recommend that you save the report as this will save you repeating all these steps. The next time you you want to generate a report. So if you click on save, it tells you the report has been saved and then click on finish. And the report is here. So next time, if you want to produce, say the next month or after one or two more projects are added and you want to generate the report, all you need to do is to come, select the report, right click, click on run report, and it gives you the option. Okay, so if we still select HTML file, we click OK. Yeah, it's just asking me if I want to override uh, the existing report. Um, you can say no if you don't want to override the existing the PDF. You can change the name. Just say baseline one. If I click save, and then click OK. Yeah, I zoom in. Oh. Yep, you see, just a click of a button and produces the report. You don't have to go through all the steps again. 
and um, that's it for today thank you so much for watching um, please do us a favor tell other people about this channel and our website and if you've got any queries or you're looking for a walk around in Primavera P6 or Microsoft project give us a shout you can reach us via our website plannersplace.com and we'll do our best to produce a video for you if, if we can well thank you for watching and good night